what's up guys uh in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to download and reference a google earth image so just go ahead and open a google earth application and uh, the right hand side the search bar just type in the place that you are going to download the image So this uh my area of interest and uh I want to download the set the Google at the image of this particular place and uh I'll be using uh ArcMap to reference the required image. You can just press R to end your image that let's press r then first thing you need to do is to add some place mark and uh, on your right hand side just make sure that this temporary place is checked and uh, just go ahead and right click and then add uh, place mark and uh, And the left hand side of this uh, a symbol or a place mark symbol, just click on it to choose the appropriate mark. And I'm going to choose this particular one, and then it's going to change the color to something like red. Then OK. Click OK. So the first point I'm going to call it btn1 and uh, it's going to move it to this particular point and uh, I'm going to click OK then quickly just click again uh, temporary place to highlight it then right click and uh, just add another place mark give it a name and uh, this is my second place uh, click ok uh, since we need at least four control points so I'm just going to add four S marks that I'll be using in uh, ArcMap to GeoReference. Then just make sure that you place your cursor on the place mark and then you see this uh, uh, palm icon and then you drag, just drag then you click OK. Let me just add the last one. Uh, as before, just type in a name and over uh, around your point and three, you see this hand icon. And then you left click and drag to whatever place uh, that you want. So let me to drag it to this particular point. So it has disappeared and going to drag it back this particular junction. Click OK. Uh, so what I need to do, uh, I'm going to uh, save this place or export my points. So this is the point that we're going to use to do reference. 
our image so what we need to do is to right click on the folder that we are working on and save place as and uh, we change that to ml the way to save it uh, is particular folder let's save and uh, then I'm going to now we are going to export the image this Google Earth image that we are looking at so to do that just go to file the top menu uh, uh, put your cursor on save and you'll see this uh, uh, four options uh, just choose the the last one save image then now you can see you have legend you have uh, and title map you have compass right here so we don't need all this we're going to remove them so uh, under this map options just click on that particular small arrow uh, and check all this just click all of them to uncheck and uh, can do a scale of one percent then the resolution you're going for maximum and, uh, and finally uh, click save image and it's asking where, where do you want to save an image and uh, I'm going to save it in this particular folder you can choose any folder that you want that and then click save So it's going to take uh, around 30 seconds and it's complete. So we just going up to this point, we're done with the Google Ads. So I'm going just going to minimize and uh, open a uh, map. So what we need to do is to convert the Google, the KML into feature class. Do that, just open a toolbox and go to conversion tool. Uh, go to conversion tool and uh, we want to convert from KML and the, we're going to add the KML points that we digitized in Google Earth Google Earth Pro so these are the points just open and then give it some time to load the points into the map software then the output location again I'm going to choose my, my same folder and I'm going to give it a name like that and then just click OK and give it time to process the process time will depend on the uh, speed of your computer so you can just go ahead and check if the process is going on and uh, just these are our points and they are in KML. Uh, another thing I need to do, let me just uh, customize my degrees to be in six decimal places. Uh, just this to six decimal places apply. Okay. So another thing you need to do is to add our image that we the Google Earth image so 
so this is the image and as you can see it's, uh, since it's not in the it does not have any reference special reference information uh, it is not going to sit well with the referenced points so what i'm going to do uh i'm going to click on this georeference this arrow and if you don't have the georeferencing tool just uh, right click at the top menu and then this uh tools tool, tools by uh pop up window will appear and then just choose georeferencing so just click on that particular arrow and choose fit display now you have uh, your image so what you're going to do we are going to to use our points the HTML points so these are the points HTML points that we just converted into layer points these are the ones that we digitized in google earth image and they were captured so just go ahead and uh, and choose uh, the control uh, you add the control points the control points and make sure that the image that you are generating is the one that is selected on this particular box so go ahead and choose and uh, add control points and uh, you're going to click on on the points that were captured on the image and not the ones that have just converted click on that with the first point on the image and uh, move it to uh, the point btn1 that of the shape of the feature class click on it as you can see it has been moved go to the second point with the same process just like that uh, go to the third point And finally, go to the last point. Now, uh, the next step, you need to choose the appropriate uh, the go to georeferencing and. Uh, you need to choose the appropriate transformation method so just scroll down till you see this transformation place your cursor on it and uh, it will give you these options and uh, just choose projective transformations uh, choose that and you can, here we can see our points are aligned and they are sitting correctly on the your referenced points on our KML points so in order to effect the georeferencing just go back to georeferencing and update referencing now we have a georeferenced google earth image as you can see as i hover around you can see uh, the coordinates keep on changing as i move around the cursor now you can do whatever you want you can another thing that i can advise you is to give this image uh the appropriate the appropriate uh you can give it appropriate definition uh, you can define the projection so just go back to our toolbox and head to data management tool and uh, choose projection transformation and uh, 
double click on define projection and as you can see this uh, any image downloaded from the website or image or camera is normally in a Uh, WGS 1984. Let's choose WGS 1984. Okay, but already we have it is already defined. So if yours is not defined, you can just follow that process. Uh, give it a the you can do so that you can define the projection so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and uh, kindly remember to subscribe give this video a like and see you in the next tutorial